My name's Louise Johnson and I'm the Community Liaison Officer at the Hospice. I've been in post a year and the, the role for my post is to get out into the communities and to um, try to change cultures about talking about death and dying and bereavement, um, change the taboo because it's an awful difficult subject for a lot of people and it's about encouraging the conversations. What is Dying Matters Week? Dying Matters Week, um, the Dying Matters Coalition was set up by the National Council for Palliative Care in 2009 and it's a coalition of people who are trying to encourage us to think about making these decisions and think about end of life plans and it's really just about encouraging open conversations about death, dying, bereavement and loss. And every year we have a Dying Matters Week in which we try and um, engage with the local communities and, and get out to meet people and see if we can just sort of get some of these conversations. How oh, and why did we get involved? Um, yeah, I was originally approached by Louise from the hospice. She had an idea about um, getting the, the day guests involved in kind of sharing their memories and they'd thought about involving young people. Um, so she'd looked for an organisation that she thought might be able to do that and somebody had suggested us. Um, so Creative Youth Opportunity, obviously we work a lot on um, art projects involving children and young people. Um, and it just sounded really exciting. It was an opportunity that was maybe a little bit different to some of the community projects that we do. And it meant that the young people that were getting involved were really going to be able to kind of take part in something that was a bit of a professional exhibition, really. Um, lots of the exhibitions that we put on kind of community based and very much focused around what the young people have been doing where this had a very clear purpose and a very clear outcome so it was, it was an exciting project that she came to us with um, and it meant that we would actually um, gain more from from the project it wasn't just about the artwork it was about kind of the process of meeting with the day guests, speaking with them and learning about their lives and I thought that the young people could probably get a lot from that as well as sort of the, developing their skills in art. How did the project evolve and progress? Um, well initially it started from kind of a walk in the grounds, Louise showed me round. The grounds here were beautiful um, and it kind of inspired the project. The woodland walkway is just, it's quite magical and it kind of, it, it led to the project being kind of called Memories in the Wind with the idea of things blowing in the, in the trees. Um, from there we, we had that loose kind of idea of what the project would be called and how it might be um, displayed in a final exhibition but we couldn't be too prescriptive because it really depended on the skills that the young people had, the kind of um, media and disciplines that they wanted to use. And it also depended a lot upon the, um, the memories that the dear guests shared with us. Uh, so I think the, the key point for me was actually bringing the young people in so that they could meet the dear guests, find out a little bit more about kind of the memories that they had and the information that they wanted to share. And that helped to shape the project and decide what it would look like. So it's very much been a collaboration. How does this Memories in the Wind project link to the big conversation? Okay, this is a really fabulous project for the hospice. From the day guest point of view, um, we've engaged with the local local school, Durham Johnson School, and the students came in to talk to our day guests about the memories. For the students, that is a big learning opportunity, and it's um, maybe a situation that they haven't been in before, so that, that's really good for, for their 
their education development. For the day guests, it's really important to think about and to share memories because actually that's your legacy of your life. It's what's made you what you what you are now. Um, and actually, in thinking back, we can we can maybe rethink what's important to us in our lives, rethink what um, relationships are important, and maybe give us a, a chance to put some more input into those plans and maybe, you know, what what what, what is our, um, our funeral could be around a theme, it could be around something that we did when we were younger. It, could, it really would be nice to make it a very personal um, presentation of our lives and that's how sharing the memory sort of links into that. enjoyed taking part in this project? Uh, yeah, it's been interesting and like I've worked with people that I never thought I'd be able to work with before and it's made me think about like the subject of dying and kind of how it affects everybody. Even when it happens to you, you think that you're the only person that goes through it, but actually it happens to everyone and the process of it isn't just kind of somebody dying, it's a lot bigger than that. What impact has the exhibition had on the day guests in the hospice? I think the, the project's had a, a big impact on the day hospice guests and the families. I think it's been really useful um, for guests to remember their memories, remember times that were really important to them, that were very special, um, and to be able to share that, those memories and, and, and those times with people. Um, as, as human beings, we like to share our, our thoughts and feelings and our memories and our stories, and that's really, really useful. And I think when we share things with other people, they, they give them extra value. We make them, we make them more important. Um, so I think it's been really, really useful for the people coming in and, and just listening to our dear hospice guests and then creating something really, really nice through artwork to reflect that. How important is it to discuss the subject of the exhibition with the family members? It was very important because it, um, the exhibition brought to life the thoughts of the guests that really, um, some parts of it had only been discussed with us and it helped them to prepare for the future and that the sharing is it's it's brought it's brought togetherness within the family for what may have been bleak moments and that's really important. How important is it to discuss the subject of the exhibition with the family members? I think it's very important. I think 
Um, the families will have gained something from the project as well as the guests themselves and the students and the staff. Um, I think they'll have gained from it by remembering the memories and stories that the, that the guests have brought up themselves. Um, I'm sure some of the family will have been part of those memories and stories and I think it's a time for them to reflect and appreciate again for those special times. But I think also for the families maybe have learned something new about their, their relatives or their friends. Um, and that's really useful because it's an opportunity to build new memories um, and that's a really, really beneficial thing to do. How does this project bring in with Dying Matters? Um, I think lots of people have a, a perception of the hospice as a place where people come to die and have a perhaps a negative image of what the hospice is about. Um, I think it's brilliant that the project has enabled the people who come into day hospice um, to talk about their stories and reflect on their, their life. But equally important is the, is the young artists who've been involved who perhaps wouldn't otherwise have come across the doors of the hospice. And hopefully the exhibition will bring people who, who aren't used to coming into the hospice into the gardens to see the exhibition. And, and that gets more people thinking about death and dying, grief and loss, which is still a big um, last to do in society. is the one thing no one wants to talk about, but everyone has to face. And how do you think the project will affect the St Cuthbert's Hospice itself? So I think having uh, the artists in to speak to um, the day hospice guests has been brilliant. I know that the guests have enjoyed it and I came along to one of the preparation days when the artists were reflecting on what they had and they clearly enjoyed it too. And anything that um, our, our whole ethos is trying to we recognise we can't add days to the lives of people who are uh, suffering with life limiting illnesses but we can add life to their days uh, and this project has really added life to the days both of the, the day hospice guests but also the artists I think as well. Um, so just be, on behalf of everyone at the hospice we want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's put their time and effort into this project. Um, and their creativity and, and their enthusiasm. Um, anything that's achieved is thanks to the, the volunteer, voluntary effort of, of the artists and the support they've received from staff here and at school and, and in other projects. So just a, a really big thank you to everyone involved.